So you guys are probably wondering why I haven't moved up to the 101 to 126 worlds yet. As you can see, there is almost like 100 people per world right now. Well, despite the fact I got three max kills in this bracket yesterday, there is another reason. There isn't much activity up there apart from at two places. Monkey Madness 2 and Corp. Now you guys might remember the last 20 final there was an Elijah and an Arcane Spirit Shield in the 1v1s. This time around, there's going to be a whole lot more and my team already has the first Elijah Spirit Shield in the game. This has led to an all-out war at the Corp Cave as people are trying to compete, and I have to do my part. So, without further ado, welcome to Corp Man Mode. So that's just a little teaser of what the fights are like, full out fair multi-wars in the caves. Now, I already have a shit rag range account to go help out, but it just isn't enough. I need a max account of that bracket with ancients to really make the difference. Now I unlocked barrage in 9 hours for my level 3, so let's see how quick I can make a proper max PK account for the highest level bracket. Let's get into it. So we're going to be rushing 70 combat as quickly as possible just so I can transfer stuff over from my main account and just make the training process quicker. So we picked the Sigil of Feral Fighter and we're just going to go rush Waterfall Quest and stuff like that. So um, we get to, I don't know, to 70 combat quicker, yeah. First thing we want to do is still go get our money. Oh, it gives us 5k. Honestly, we might not even need money then. Let's see if we can go just start Waterfall Quest. I didn't know it's, we started with 5k, what the hell? Okay, we can actually probably go do this quest without even doing Stronghold, which will be very, very nice. Okay, let's go buy the runes for this and we'll start. Please? Fucking shit game! Yes, we tanked it, we tanked it. Good shit. Okay, and this is gonna be Waterfall done. I wonder what stats is gonna get it to us. 55, 55 stats, nice. We are 38 combat already, Jesus. All right, so I bought some big bones off the GE. I don't know what prayer level is gonna get me, but it's just gonna get me some easy combat levels, so I thought might as well. 37 prayer and 43 combat just like that. I'm still 10 HP. If more bones bought, I'll go finish off the levels. If not, it's fine. I'm just gonna go move the rock crabs and do it later. Okay, the bones didn't buy and I died to an Anku on the way down. So we're just gonna go AFK our stats of rock crabs now. GG. All right, we started this account like an hour and a half ago. So very inefficient compared to our normal start because in entering, I've just been AFK at rock crabs for the past little while. But I'm 67 combat. My protection is about to run out. As soon as I hit 71 combat, I'm just gonna go collect a bunch of shit from my other account and get into the really good progress part. Okay, I have an hour of protection on this account and is now in the same bracket as my PK account. So I can go quest on this account and do whatever the fuck I want, really. And if I get attacked anywhere, I can just come on my PK and kill the person attacking me. So, very, very nice. We're going to get all the quests done in this bracket. Alright, we're going to use this protection to quickly get our prayer levels up. We got a bunch of bones transferred over, so it should be enough to get us to, I don't know, hopefully 70, but if not, very high. Okay, one inventory got us to 60. I'll just do another one and then probably the quest rewards will get me to 70. Alright, that got me to 65 prayer. We'll save the rest for later, like from quest rewards and shit like that. I'm just gonna go get my mage and range up, and then we're gonna start questing. Alright, that's the 10 fletching requirement for tourist trap. Alright, I just bought the sigil of the ruthless ranger and the menacing mage. I was gonna be super quick for my training XP. I also picked myself up the sigil of supreme stamina just because it's gonna help out with the questing a lot. If I die during these quests, it's not gonna be fun, but like I said, I have my account geared up in PK gear. So I should just be able to instant tele and just send my PK over to clear whatever spot. Okay, quickly got 25 mage. Now let's quickly get 31 as well. 
All right, that's 31 mage. Let's go start tourist trap. I just trained 1 to 27 range while killing the mercenary captains. That was cool. All right, thieving, 42, and thieving. How much this time? 49. Nice, let's go. All right, I have to go get 40 range quickly so we can go start Temple of Ikov. Okay, the quests go like 100 times quicker on this account. No idea why. Maybe because we're just more prepared and stuff. I don't know. Anyway, three hours in, we've done the dig site. Now we just need to go Death Platoon's Troll Stronghold, get the scroll requirements for DT, and get DT done. All right, this should be Death Platoon completed. Can't wait for all the people in my comment sections telling me how to pronounce that correctly. But we'll now be able to start Troll Stronghold as well. And then I think we can go do DT after just a couple skill requirements. Okay, and this should be Troll Stronghold completed as well, which means we just need to get a couple more requirements, and then we're ready to do DT for the second time. I uh, just need to get all these skill requirements real quick. Quick Museum XP, getting us this 27 Slayer, which is our requirement for DT. Well, we only need 9, but yeah. Alright, that is 50 Fire Making, and wow, that's the guy we almost killed the other day. Alright, that is 53 Thieving done, which means we can go do DT, probably under a 5 hour completion this time around. Damn, that's literally the best RNG I've ever got here. Less than like 20 lockpicks or whatever, and I got the Gilded Cross, let's go. Okay, and that is the first diamond collected. Nice. All right, we got our first DT diamond, but let's take a quick look at what's going on at Corp right now. Yo, just wanted to quickly say, despite some of the hate I've been getting this tourney for the competitive way that I'm playing, I have been seeing all of your guys' support, and my last video actually gained me over a thousand new subscribers, so welcome to all of you guys. I appreciate it loads, and if you are new here or just not a subscriber yet, please consider taking the two seconds to click the button below, as I'd really like to hit 100k by the end of DMM. I really appreciate it, guys. These court multi-fights are insane, and honestly, it's the closest thing we're going to get to the multi-bit of the final hour now that it's been removed. And the risk involved in these fights is crazy. As you can see, the one key my friend got from the enemy team had 10 mil cash in it. Damn, that was a lot easier than when I was level 50, not gonna lie. Alright, and that is the final diamond. Let's go cash these in. DT done in like under 5 hours. Okay, don't ask why my gravestone is here. I may have gone AFK while I was on a kill on my other account, so we may have died and had to run the whole thing back. But don't worry about it, you know? It's all peaks and troughs out here. It's all peaks and troughs out here. Yep, DT done, Ancient Magic's unlocked, 76 Magic too. So we can burst that later, but now we're just gonna go work on a melee so we can AFK a bit. All right, that's double 65, so I could go to the Warriors Guild right now, but I don't wanna get one hit, so I'm just gonna AFK a bit. Maybe until, honestly, this inventory prayer box is over and then I'll head over. I actually did not expect to get attacked here at all, but I just got attacked by that Max here at Fire Giants. Luckily, we escaped, because, you know, we're the best to ever do it. But uh, it's probably time to go transition over the Warriors Guild now. I was way too AFK. So if you're wondering how this absolute Chad is training in Monk Robes Trim, Darun Kite Shield G at a whip with 67 HP, like, if I saw this at the Warriors Guild, I'd be hopping on that and claiming the set in about two seconds. It's because I'm literally logged upstairs right now in full max gear and I cleared out the world. So if anyone wants to come uh, fuck with me, I just let the Mithril Armor hit me. I come down to my max account and start hitting it. So that's actually how I got in a bank fight with this maxer right here. He attacked my account at the Myth Warriors, so I had to come save myself. I'm going to save these kind of clips for tomorrow's video, so if you want to find out what happens, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's pretty interesting. So I actually just got attacked here by a maxer, and uh, let's just say it was pretty interesting. I'm not going to show the clip in today's video, but I will show it in another PK and dedicated video. All right, that is 2,000 tokens to spend at the Warriors Guild. If I don't get a Dragon Defender in these 2,000 tokens, I'm going to be pissed. There's a system update in 11 minutes. So, I'm gonna just go get some food and chill until that, and then I'll just go AFK these defenders. Time played, 8 hours, 9 minutes. Alright, we finally got our rune defender, 1k tokens in, we're 82 strength, we're 95 combat. Realistically, I want to get my dragon defender before I hit 101 combat, because I want to transfer over all the stuff and then use the immunity to go chin. So hopefully we can get this dragon defender before we hit 100 combat. Damn, the deadman beta is going on literally right this second, and I just got my dragon defender on my other account. Right now. So, let's pick that up. Um... I guess I'm going to AFK here anyway for a little bit, so I'm just going to AFK this during the beta and get as close to 101 combat as possible, and then I guess I'll just log out to focus on the beta. 
Dead man beta done. We're still 97 combat. I'm just going to keep training here for a little bit and get close to that 101 combat. And once we're close to that, we're going to go get a bunch of stuff off our other account because it's the last time we're going to be able to trade each other. All right, collecting one final care package from the main before I get out of this combat bracket and can never trade the account again. So I hope I don't forget anything. I'm giving myself chins, bursts, uh, like some barrels items, the lot basically. And hopefully it is all we need. Okay, and this is our care package. This is everything we're going into with the level 100 bracket plus everything on our main. Two mil cash. We're going to have an hour of immunity, but after that, it is very possible we get suplex for everything. So I hope that's not the case. All right, we are officially 101 combat, which means we get an hour of protection. We have 100 red chins, 1.3k black chins. We're going to go chuck them all, just suicide chuck them after our protection is over as well. Uh, we do have a fairly, we do lose a little bit if we die after our protection, so I'm hoping that's not the case. I'm hoping we can get through these bursts and chins and max out our account just fine. We'll, we'll have to see how it goes. Alright, that's 70 range, so we can switch to this now. Bro, I'm getting like 26k XP drops doing this. This is fucking ridiculous. 80 range already, we've got 1.2k chins left. 21k XP drops, 23k XP drop. this is crazy. I should've used Eagle Eye when I was chinning earlier, bro, I'm a moron. Sigil of the Barbarians, whatever that does. We'll check it out later. A Sigil of the Elves, too, whatever that is. 30 minutes of protection in, and we've just hit 90 range. Goddamn. Alright, that's 95 range. We still have 555 chins left. I'm only 77 defense, and I want to spend the least amount of time possible training my melees, because that's the slowest one. So I'm going to start throwing on long range now. Sigil of the Porcupine? I don't remember what that does, but I think it's actually pretty useful. Alright, my PvP protection has officially run out. There's a guy bursting right next to me, and I still have 355 chins, so... Wish me luck. I literally have one piece- one shark, so if someone hits me, I'm dead. And that is 98 range. We only have 50 chins left. Uh, we're 85 defense as well. The stats are looking amazing. We're only 13 hours, 22 minutes in, and these are our stats. But once we get done with these chins, we're just gonna start bursting too. Alright, my final couple of chins thrown. We're not gonna throw chins for another 900k XP. We can figure that out later. Also got us to 86 death. Very, very nice. Alright, we're 76 mage. We should have enough burst to get us to 94 and then probably further, I hope. And we're just gonna start bursting now. Damn! Sigil of Rampage. That's actually bank. I think it just got nerfed. So I don't know how much it's gonna be worth now, but it's one of the most expensive sigils, I think. Alright, and that is 94 mage. I would stay here longer, but there's actually a core pit I was just getting this 94 mage to. We're just finished massing now, so I have to go go to that real quick. Alright, the noobs at corp didn't really want to fight, so I have to lose my skull, and I'm gonna get back to bursting and shit. 15 hours, 30 minutes game time. Obviously, a little bit of that hasn't actually been training or anything. I'm just gonna be barraging on defensively for the rest of my mage, and I'm gonna get use that to get my defense and also get my mage to 99. Not sure what defense level will get me, but it should be some nice XP. Alright, we're going rogue, boys. We're going rogue. Come on. Come on. First kill on the new account. Welcome to Dead My Mode, my friend. This guy was just training in the caves with us, so I thought I'd just smoke him out real quick. Good job. Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, let's get back to uh, barraging, and hopefully we don't get rushed now because we killed that guy. <laughs> Sometimes it has to be like that, boys. Sometimes you just gotta go rogue. Alright, that is 95 magic. I'm not sure if 800 sacks will be enough, but I can just go buy more if I need to. And I'm not going to open this key yet for a little bit. Oh my god, I logged back in after DCing to an archaic emblem. What? This game is too nice to me, bro. Not going to lie, this game is actually way too nice to me. Thank you very much, Jax. I DC'd, I thought I died. Logged back into a tier 5. No complaints. Sigil of escaping? Bro, I just got the Sigil of the Guardian Angel. That shit's worth like 5 mil, yo. That is bank loot. Welcome to dead man mode. That's actually bank loot. I'm going to sell that for like 5 mil or something. This burst in is actually maybe bank. That's 99 mage. I'm just going to keep barraging here because it's actually the quickest way for me to go from 89 to 99 defense as well. All right, let's open this key real quick. 59k. Bro, I just got another tier 5. The money keeps coming in, but I still ain't eating good. Let's go. Yo, Tellian, look at Lonely Acon all the way south. He's in full range, guys. The 119 all the way south. Lonely Acon. Just get on it. Yo, all the way northeast. Come all the way northeast. I got one frozen. Lonely Acon. All the way northeast. Level 23. Come, come, come. All the way northeast. Lonely Acon. He's in full fucking Barrow's tank. Come. Lonely Acon. All the way northeast. Okay, I've been doing a lot of core pits, so I kind of can't be bothered getting 92 to 99 defense right now. I'll do that later anyway, and I'm going to be doing a lot of PKing anyway, so I'll train a lot of my stats through that. 
I'm 77 strength. We are 18 hours almost into the account, so I'm just gonna go AFK these stats real quick while I edit this video, get the strength level a little bit higher. TY donate, Jax. TY donate. Vesta spear drop. Very, very nice. I think that helps out at Corp too. All right, that's 99 HP. We got some outside. We got, we got YSX outside. We got YSX outside. He's frozen west. Frozen west. He's d he should die. Oh, he's seeding. He's seeding. Oh, he died. 90 attack, 20 and a half hours in. Obviously, we've been leaving quite a bit for core pit and stuff like that, but still great progress in less than a day. Many AFKable hours later, and we are 95 strength. I think we're around 22. Yeah, 22 hours, 16 minutes into this account. 90 attack, 95 strength, 92 defense, 98 range, 99 mage, and we have 70 prayer. It is a very, very strong account for only a day's progress. Got our Mage Cape. We're not actually risking a Bill 07 on this account, so I can actually go afford and risk doing Mage Cape too. All right, we found our theme, Jiggy. Last time I did the Sar one, I'm not gonna lie, I almost got one hit by its pulling me in thing, so hopefully that doesn't happen this time. Okay, there's the pull in. Is it gonna kill me? All right, I didn't do any damage that time. I wonder what reason it does damage for. All right, should be the first one done with ease. Didn't get one hit for once, so that's nice. Welcome to Deadman Mode, Mr. Justice or Zakirak, Rakarak. All right, we literally used almost all our brews trying to find this thing because it was in the most weird spot, but this should be fine. All right, that's Zami done. Now let's just find Guthix. Healing effect of this relic is so nice. I didn't have to use any food. Obviously, I'm 30 HP, but we have all three of these. If we get one hit for these now, I'm quitting RuneScape, but yeah. Wish us luck. We usually get the imbued Zami cape, but fuck it. Let's go for Guthix this time, and we have the mage cape too. Nice. 23 hours of game time, less than a day's work of progress, and this is the sort of gear setup that we have and our stats that we have. 98 range, 99 magic, 70 prayer, no piety yet, but that'll take us like three hours to do. I'm going to go do it right off this video. 90 attack, 95 strength, 92 defense. I'll finish maxing AFK while I'm PKing on my other account. This is the gear setup we have. Not complete max, but I'm going to be taking crazy risks on this account, going to all sorts of multi fights and stuff like that. So I don't want to have a crazy amount of risk. If I want to max PK later, I can transfer a set over and that'll be fine. But 24 hours of progress, well, 23 hours of progress, and this is what we're looking like. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Once again, please remember to subscribe as I am trying to hit 100K subscribers by the end of Deadman mode. Other than that, leave a like on the video to show some extra support and the videos will be coming back hopefully daily until the end of the tourney. I will see you guys later.